Welcome back to Performance TV. One of the key things to make your vehicle perform well and ride well are the shocks. Well, I've got Marty from JRI Shocks today with me. Marty, I've heard of JRI from the motorsports world and all the shocks you make there, but I had no idea you make all these shocks. Oh, yes. Well, JRI started off with the racing, and it started with NASCAR, and that led into IndyCar, that led into drag racing, and also dirt racing. So sprint cars are using very small style shocks. What happened there? Small style shock, people saw them. Hey, motorcycles could be better. Let's try it on there. That's how these came about. Yeah, and we're gonna put the shocks on our Harley here today. These things are, are designed for, when you get a Harley, it's, it's an average shock. For an average rider, Correct. there's nothing specific. These are very adjustable, specific to the rider and the equipment, everything to make it perform better and ride better. Yes, absolutely. We offer two different styles, a non-adjustable style and a single adjustable style. Also, three different heights. You got an 11 inch, a 12 inch, and a 13 inch. Three different spring rates, a lightweight spring, medium spring, and a heavy spring. Right, and they're gonna fit a wide variety of Harleys, not just the new ones, it's, it's, you go way back on all the All the way back to the 90s, yes. Right, and I mean, they're billet made. I mean, these things are basically a racing shock for your vehicle on the street. Oh yeah, they're made right next to the racing shocks that we build, everything here in Mooresville, North Carolina, in the USA. So a drag racing shock for an NHRA car could be right next to this Harley shock that you will receive. <laughs> right, so if you're gonna ride your Harley on the street and you know it's gonna perform, it's got JRI shock. On. Absolutely. Man, these, these things have so many adjustments on them. I mean, how do you pick it? I mean, can you go to the website and check it out and say, I want a shock, but how, how do I know which one's the right one? Yes, well, you can go to www.jrishocks.com. We have our full range of Harley shocks on the website with all kinds of information. You can see all different styles of our charts of which style's right for your bike, what adjustability you could get, what style of springs you can get. Everything can be found there. I'll tell you what, we've got our Harley here. Let's, let's go ahead and get this thing on there and show the people how easy they are to install as well. Let's do it. Grab your bushings there. Now when we start installing, we, we put it on a lift and we got it ready to go. Put a support under it because we're going to take the shocks off the back. You want to grab the, uh, the bottom one and I'll do the top right. here. Now this is a pretty simple install. I mean, it's, it's basically two bolts, remove them. Yep. It mounts with the old, with the existing hardware. Existing hardware, just keep everything, make sure you keep it all nice and order. You don't want to lose anything. All right, now when you're, you can adjust them. Do you have to have any tools, any kind of equipment, or can you just do this on the fly? Are there are no it? tools necessary to adjust. You can do it all with just with your hands and fingers. Yeah, and let's say you're out riding and you're just comfort, comfort riding. You can have them nice and soft. You want to go out and maybe get a little racy later in the day, stop, adjust the shock, and then you go. Yep, all you can do is just pull right off to the side of the road, reach down, grab your adjuster. You can go up to the plus, that's going to make it stiffer. You can go down to the minus, and that's going to make it softer, and you're going to have about 40 different clicks of adjustment there. That seems like it's plenty. Uh, Got your bushings, yep. all right. You grab a little bit of Loctite so we can... Uh, Make sure this thing doesn't come loose. Just a dab will do. All right. I'll just get this one started, then let go you get on. yours in. Okay, go ahead. I'll give you the hard part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, when they come, will they come preset? to the adjustments that you that, that they did on Yes, line. they will come set to our adjustment that we set them at at the factory. And then you can kind of play with it from there and kind of learn what you like. And yes, what we're gonna give you is what's gonna be best, that may not be what you like the most, that will just be what we recommend. We're gonna have to come up a little bit. Okay. Now we're just gonna just get it to fit Going to jack it up just a little bit, take that pressure off of it. Am I getting close? No, not yet. Getting closer. Now it's going away. <laughs> there, how's that, Marty? That got her in. All right. Just need a little, little persuasion. That's all it took. Now these shocks, just, what's it, are they rebuildable or are they, you know, can you maintenance them at all? Every single one of these shocks is rebuildable and serviceable. Now every shock is dyno tested before it leaves the building and we have a record of that dyno 
sheet from the serial number that's laser etched on every single shock. Right. So you can send your shock back at any time and we will know exactly how we built it the first time. Right, you got a lot of history on it, you keep all the records. That's right. All the data so you, you know your life of your shock. And... Yes, we also know how long you've had it so we can advise you on what's correct for a regular time to be serviced and stuff like that. And give them a little torque and we're done with this. All right, we're gonna torque this to 35 foot-pounds. There it is. All right. That's it. Now, how do you, how do you adjust? Let me show me. Give me an example of the adjustments. Well, there's two different ways you can adjust. You can adjust right here, and that's going to adjust your ride height. So you're really adjusting the spring preload, tighten more preload down onto the shock. It's going to raise the it's bike. It's going to raise the bit. bike. If you loosen that preload up, it's going to lower the bike. And then there's another adjustment down there. All right. So that's going to be your softness and your stiffness. If you go towards the plus, you're going to get a little stiffer. You go towards the minus, it's going to get a little softer. Tons of adjustability, whether you're getting after it or you want to just take a cool, smooth ride. Be sure and check out their website, JRI Shocks. You can pick out the shocks for your bike. We'll be back with more after this.